Hi and welcome to lesson four in my series of lessons on basic chords for playing electric blues guitar. And in this lesson we're going to work on minor chords. If you are just learning the guitar and you need to learn chords to be able to pretty much do anything else. We worked on basic bar chords, worked on seventh chords in lesson two, we worked on ninth chords in lesson three, and now we're ready for minor chords. Minor chords are really pretty simple. Just like with the ninth chords, there are two basic positions, what I call a first position ninth chord and a second position. We're going to start in the key of A, and I'm looking on my, actually we'll use G since that's what I have the tab for. Here's a G first position bar chord. Remember this? To make a minor, all you have to do is take your second finger out of it. And now you have a minor. Here's a G major chord. Minor. And the way I did that is I've got the exact same position as my first position bar chord. This is a G, because my first finger is on the third fret, and that's a G. Take my finger out, strumming all the strings. And you can move that. The same rules apply for this as the first position bar chord. So this will be F, not F minor, A minor, B flat minor, B minor, and so on. Now another way to play that chord, if you don't want to use the bar, a lot of times you can just play what I call an abbreviated version of it from the fourth string on down. And you're just getting the treble strings. To do this, take my first finger, this is still G, and put it on the th three strings, first, second, and third string at the third fret. Then my ring finger is going to get the G. That's a G. That's a G. So this is the octave. Both G's, this time on the fourth string at the fifth fret. If we strum from the fourth string down, that's a G minor too. And we can move that, same as the other chord. A minor, B minor, C minor. So that's your first position minor chord using the bar, the bar shape as your reference. Now the second position minor chord, do the same thing as we did with the regular bar chords, major chords. If this is a G, if my first finger is barring the fifth, third fret of the fifth string, it's a C. So there's my second position C bar chord. And to make a minor, what we do is right on top of that, fret it, and there's a C minor. My first finger is barring everything from the fifth string down. My second finger is on the fourth fret of the second string. And then my, my ring finger is on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and my pinky or fourth finger is on the fifth fret of the third string. The way I learned it is just take your major bar chord shape and move the second through fourth fingers over one. Major, so that's G major, C minor. And we can move it. This is D minor, E minor, F minor, this would be B minor, just like this. And using that bar chord shape, we can play this anywhere, almost anywhere, on the neck, if our fingers will fit there. Another way to play that second position bar chord is to, again, cut out the bar and just get the top three strings. And to do that, I've got my first finger on the G, third fret of the first string, second finger on the fourth fret of the second string, ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string. So that is the same as, but just without the bass string. You can also play it like this by moving the ring finger over to the fourth string, fourth, fifth fret of the fourth string, and then tucking the pinky in on the third string, fifth fret. That gives you four strings to play the minor on, or you can just do the three. And just like the bar chords, again, that's movable, so you can move it all over the place. Now there's a couple other variations on, on minor chords. Another way you could play a minor chord is, so let's say this is your G. This note, fifth fret of the fourth string, that's a G. So we can use that as our root, and we can make a D minor shape. If we're playing way up here, 
I guess I should show you some of these first position minor chords. This would be a D minor. If you're playing acoustic blues, you use these a lot of times. My first finger is on the first fret of the first string. My second finger is on the second fret of the third string. And my ring finger is on the third fret of the second string. That's a D minor. G minor, if we're going to play it, it's not really played here. A minor is like this. Or if you make a first position E chord, you just move everything over. That's an E minor. And when we make this shape, we're just using the finger to bar in place of the, of the nut here. So this D minor, getting back to that, we can move that, but we have to use a bar. So we put my first finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and then with these fingers, I'm going to make a G minor. Here's the root, G, same as this. And I'm doing that by putting my first, second finger on the first string at the sixth fret, my ring finger on the seventh fret of the third string, and then my pinky on the eighth fret of the second string. That's a G minor. Using that. So if we're playing an A, there's an A minor, C, C minor. Now I find in electric blues that most of the stuff, the minor chord stuff, Magic Sam, Otis Rush, uh, those guys did a lot of stuff in minor chords, and most of the time I think they're using either this first position with the bar or without the bar or the second position minor chord. But that's another way you can play a minor chord, and I call that a D minor shape since it's based on the D minor. There's some other ways to play minor chords, just like all the others, and I've charted a couple of these out for you. But the basics are just the first position, second position, minor chords, and those are the ones you want to learn first. Just like all the other chords, practice putting your fingers in position, strumming, making sure you can get it to sound like a real chord, like music, and then practice switching back and forth. There's a lot of good minor tune songs. One, there's an Otis Rush song called uh, You Know My Love, and he switches between the A minor and the D minor. That's not the exact tune, but that's the chord switch. A minor, D minor, and back. And again, when we get to chord progressions, I'll try to give you some good songs to listen to for each type of chord so you can hear these. That is the fourth lesson. I'll be back with the fifth lesson. We'll take a look at uh, a variety of other chords that are commonly heard in electric blues songs from the 50s and 60s. And then we'll wrap it up by taking a look at chord progressions and trying to help you understand how chords are put together, and how to figure out songs that you're listening to if you want to learn how to play them. Be back soon. Talk to you later. Goodbye.